Hey guys, welcome to Simply Fishing. I'm Lowell Henderson, your host, and I'm on my way this morning to my first fishing spot. Hopefully gonna catch some large mouth and some spots this morning. All my buddies tell me they're biting, so I'm hitting Lake Tacoma. Gonna throw a spinnerbait, gonna throw a pop bar and a spook. Later on in the day, I may switch to a jig and uh, see if we can't catch us a quality fish or two today. I appreciate you tuning in. Let's go pay a few bills and I'll see you when we get back. There's a fish. Oh no, he threw my spinner bait. That was a pretty good fish too. Right on the bank. Man alive. He kind of caught me off guard there. Now that fish was shallow, shallow. Cause I'm sitting in less than five feet of water and that fish was on the bank. That is awesome. There's a fish. Oh, baby, what we got? That's a good fish there. He's strong anyway. He whopped that spinnerbait. Oh yeah, pretty fish. Pretty fish, looks like a spot from here. We fished to find out. Fishing to find out. Look at that pretty little old spotted bass. That's what I came out here for. He's got some teeth. My goodness. Hit that war eagle spinner bait like it wasn't nothing. Man, that's a hard hit too. Alright, buddy. Back you go. Whew. First fish of the morning, that gets your heart going there. That's awesome. That is awesome. Got me drifted up in the bank here. I really thought that fish was gonna be a lot bigger than that. Boy, he hit like a freight train. I'm talking about put a lick on it. Oh yeah, and keep him out of my anchor rope. I'll be happy. That's a good. That's a strong fish. My goodness, I like it. Love it. I love it. Oh, that's another spot. Man, spots are eating today. Look at that. That's a fine, fine fish right there. Oh my goodness, I stuck him too. He wanted that blade. Hit that thing hard. I get it out. And get the little filler back in the water, I'll be doing good. Oh, come on. Can't be that big a deal. Oh, 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 
He's about to tear my thumb off. One more look. Now this fish came on my way back. I fished down the lake and I'm coming back down the lake now. Or going back up the lake toward the boat ramp. And these same little irregular features, I'll try to get spun around, where the bank takes a small little dip, not a big pocket, just a little small irregular dip with a wash. You got rocks all the way down the bank, but where the water normally would wash out of the woods, a little stream, these seem to have fish on them. I think all but one of my bites today has been in a little area just like this. And they've all been spotted bass. I have not, I've yet to see the first uh, largemouth today. I had a couple get off that might have been largemouth, but I, I don't know because I didn't see them. The ones that I've actually hooked up with and got in the boat, they've been spots and boy they're aggressive when they hit just something else you guys this is my second morning on beautiful lake katoma here in north central alabama and uh i'm ready to get started uh, been it like a day i skipped a day let the weather sort of settle out before i came back and uh hopefully this morning the, they'll still be hitting spinnerbait uh, spinnerbait seemed to be the choice two days ago and i don't see any reason why they shouldn't i shouldn't pick up a few on a spinnerbait today so As soon as these boat waves get out from here, I'm gonna go see what I can catch. I'm almost to my first spot. Now, as you can see up in front of me, this one little patch is loaded with stumps. And they run on out into the water. I'm gonna work the actual stumps first because bass have been shallow this week. In the past two or three weeks, the ones that we've caught, myself, my friends that's been out here, they've been very shallow. Some have been suspended over deep water occasionally, but most of them are running, running bait fish along the bank. And everything I caught day before yesterday, which you've already seen, is or were uh, spotted bass. Never saw the first largemouth, so maybe there's a turtle just popped up in front of me. But uh, <clears throat> maybe today we'll get a largemouth or two moved up shallow and hit a spinnerbait or top water. Now, I don't know if that was a fish or I ran into something, but he wasn't very far from the boat if it was. And I don't think there's anything there for me to run into. It's pretty open water after you get off that bank there. Man. I can't tell if some of this is bites or or if I'm hitting. I know there's a lot of stumps here. I know they run on out in the water. But I think I'm keeping my bait above them. So I think I've had a couple maybe already hit the blades. They do that sometimes instead of grabbing the skirt with a hook in it. They grab that flash going by. And it's it's always been my preference to not run a trailer hook on my spinnerbaits. I, I, 
I don't know, that's probably a mistake on my part, but I just never really liked it. Uh, some people swear by them, they won't run a spinner bait or a buzz bait without a trailer hook, but I've just never really, never really liked it that much. I feel like I get my bait tangled up and hung up more running a trailer hook than I do without one, so I just tend to leave it off. Probably cost me a few fish down the road, but hey, we're not out here. We can't catch all the fish, but I catch quite a few, so I'm happy with it. I think the bait just runs more natural than the way the manufacturers got them, got them set up and uh, adding to and taking away oftentimes messes that natural action up. But that's my opinion, and uh, I know thousands and thousands of fishermen that, that will modify their baits, change blades, run, run trailer hooks, and I, you know, I don't find fault with that. It's just not my preference. Now I'm going to try to cover a lot of water as fast as I can this morning because I got here a little bit late, so I want to hit. Some of these, <clears throat> excuse me, some of these points and pockets that's loaded with cover and where the cover runs out into the water. There's one right out here at the boat. Oh my goodness, he come from deep. Oh baby, where are you going? Man, he's still full of fight. We gotta get you in before you do some damage. My God, he don't want in. <laughs> come here, Mr. Spotted Bass. Come here, Mr. Buddy. Oh, come on. There we go. Whew. It has been a long morning. My second day of fishing it was way tougher than the first day. And I don't know, it's it's probably 10, 30, 11 o'clock, maybe 12. And that is my first fish. And I had to resort to going to a worm in order to catch one. He's pretty healthy. Not a blemish on him, so we're going to put him back. I'm sitting in almost 10 feet of water. Water temp is 72 degrees. Just a little wind. And normally you would think that those conditions, they would hit a spinnerbait, but I have just about wore the blades off my spinnerbait without so much as a bump, at least that I know for sure was a bump. And uh, had to go to a, I think it's a, it's a cream uh, June bug red, I believe is the name of it. And finally got a bite out here in about 10 feet of water, he was almost under the boat. So I'm gonna fish a little deeper and hope for the best. They're not schooling like they were, I believe a week ago when we had the real big moon. Uh, the brim were all pushed up on the bank 
and the big fish were running in and out and just feeding at will. And now that the brim have moved back off the bank, uh, the bass are gone back to being scattered like they do in the fall. The only thing is today I've not seen the first school school up and bust on, on shad or anything. It's been kind of like the Dead Sea out here. I've thrown spinnerbait, a crankbait, top, two top waters, a big spook and the spook junior, and a jig without so much as a bite on any one of those. But when I got to the worm, out here off a deep, deep stumpy point, I finally got my first bite. It's real strange that the real slow presentation catches the first fish when the water being in the low 70s and got a ripple on the water even though we've got a pretty good sun going you would you just automatically think that they would be uh, more active and aggressive and feeding on a faster bait but they're just not doing it right now I've had to really slow down in order to get that bite I've uh, I've seen quite a few boats out here today run up down the lake, stop, and fish a few minutes and leave. I've yet to seen another boat pull a fish out of the water, so it kind of makes me feel good that I'm not the only one struggling. It happens. Some days they're just not doing what you want them to do, and there ain't a whole lot you can do about it, but keep searching and trying to find that one little piece to the puzzle to figure it out. There's another bite and a miss. Oh my goodness. Out here deep. And this is a main lake point. This is not a secondary point. This is a main lake point. And I'm at, I am in a little deeper without the winds kicking me around. It's showing 10 feet, three inches. And I'm throwing parallel, so these both of these bites have been in about 10 feet of water. Now I'm gonna make a change and Texas rig a uh, cream ST crawl. This is a green pumpkin violet. That claws a little. Oh, okay, there we go. It's, it's a green pumpkin. It's got that violet, purple-looking flake in it, which uh, shows up in this sunlight pretty well. We'll see if a little little change will make a difference. I know there's some fish in here. I've had one bite that I didn't catch, and I caught one, so... Before I move on down to the next point, I want to try a couple little different things. And I know largemouth and spotted bass both just love to eat a crawfish, so I'm going to give them one. That fish, goodness, he is deep. Oh, it's a decent fish, too. Oh, don't come off. Just come to me. Wow, oh, what fun. My God, taking drag. You're making a mess. Come on up here, big spot. I ain't caught nothing all week but spots. And that's a fine in there. We'll cream it. Cream. My God, he's gonna wet everything I got. We'll cream ST crawl. Look at that. 
Did the trick, boy. Can I have that hook? Huh? Really? It's just barely there. I just can't get it. Where's my little tools? Oh, come on. Make that big deal. That's a pretty spot right there. Pretty colors. Strong as it can be. I have wet my camera. I know. I can see the water. Sorry about that. I wanted you to have a good look at that without the camera being blotched up. Man, that's nice. Let's put her back. Whew, that water's cold. That little fish get the gut already. We will see you next time. Oh, they always try to wet me. Well, guys, even though this has been a pretty tough week, I have thoroughly enjoyed being out here and bringing this show to you. I got some exciting news this past week. I've got uh, two new sponsors coming on coming on the show in a couple of weeks and I'll let that ride for now and you'll see them in a couple of weeks when they get when we get the ads and stuff started and get the products rolling and uh, things are looking up and once again like I've said so many times I thank you guys so much for watching and the support that my family friends fans that all of you have given so far it makes this whole journey worthwhile and I am by no means finished I've got so many plans for the future and uh, I hope you stick with me through the long run because we're gonna go some good places uh, it just takes time to to get everything built the way I want it and all my ducks in a row and you guys have been so good uh even even people that don't don't fish uh the support i've gotten from you guys with the kind words and everything i thank you so much and uh you guys come back same time next week i'm Lowell henderson this is simply fishing i'll see you next time